Hey guys, how you doing? Um, as I mentioned in class, I said I was going to make a couple of tutorial videos um, regarding Microsoft Word. Um, one of them being the contents page, another one being about formatting, uh, one about um, headers and footers, etc. Now, I've got my washing machine on, so apologies for the background noise, <laughs> okay? Right, okay doc. So, contents page. I've got a document here, this is an essay I wrote a few years back. Um, so I'm going to use this for my example. Now obviously I've had to blank out my student number and obviously the lecturer is involved. Um, but as you can see, just kind of a typical essay here, okay? Now, the way that you guys have showed me in class, or certainly how you have been showed, um, how we create a contents page is you basically start typing up here, contents, and then you would type in your section, if I can spell it right that is, and then you go dot 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 page number. That is completely wrong. Do not do it this way, okay? One, it's absolutely going to take up so much of your time. Second, in terms of your page numbers, etc., if you want to update your document, it means you have to then update your contents page manually, okay? Microsoft Word has got an absolutely great way of helping you create a contents page with little to no effort. And now I'm going to talk you through that process. So, as I say, here I've got my Word document. Um, here's my very front cover, and then bang straight in to the body of my text with my introduction, oral contracts, etc. So the first thing I want to do is I want to highlight each one of my section headings. So I just click and drag there. Um, I then, whilst in the Home tab, go along and I select heading 1. So make sure this is highlighted and then select heading one. Now I am aware it's just changed the, the font size and also the colour. Don't worry, we're going to come back to this how to fix that. I then go down to my next heading, which is auto contracts. Again, same thing. Click, drag, select, heading one. And again, it will keep changing that font, okay? Uh, down to the next one, which is authorship. Select heading one again, and legal presence heading one, and my conclusion heading one, and lastly my bibliography, which is also heading one. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's obviously changed the colour of all these different headings. However, we can fix this very easily. If I go up to heading one up here and I right click, I then go to modify. This then gives me a, the modify dialog box, okay? In here, this is where I can change it back to what it originally was. So I do believe it was 12 and the colour was black. Um, obviously you guys refer back to your assessment brief and that will tell you what you have to format it to. Once I click OK, there we go, it's selected, or sorry, rather changed all of my headings. Now one thing I forgot to do was make them bold. So I'm just going to go back in here, change that, bold, there we go. And that's it updated every single heading for me okay so now that i've went and selected all of them and i've selected heading one now we can start to create a contents page really easy all we do is put your cursor um to the very first uh section header and we're going to go to the insert tab now on the insert tab on the left hand side of the ribbon so remember this is what you call the ribbon you're going to see uh, pages. Click that and you're looking for blank page. And there we go. So it's given me a, a blank page in between my uh, cover sheet and the beginning of my, my report. I'm then going to place the cursor at the top of the 
blank page. And now I'm going to go to the, ref the References tab. Now on the References tab, uh, on the left hand side of the ribbon, you're going to see Table of Contents. You click on this, it's then going to give you a different bunch, um, or a different selection of uh, contents. Again, I'll just go to the classic, select that, bang, there you go. Job done for you, okay? And what's really good about this is the fact that the page numbers are accurate, okay? Now, let's say you have finished your essay and you think, great, I'm done. Oh no, I forgot to add in a section. Let's say I had another section called copyright, okay? And let's say I just had a bunch of text here. I'm just doing this as an example, okay? So I now have to add copyright back into, or sorry, into my table of contents. Again, really easy. Once you add in your section, select copyright. You go back to your home tab and then select heading one. Now, because I've modified heading one, you'll notice that it's bold, black and size 12 font. If I go up here, there's it's still not there. The reason it's still not there is you need to select the table of contents. There we go. So select up the top left. Those three dots, you want to click that. In fact, I'm talking rubbish. Don't click the three dots. On the right-hand side, there'll be drop-down arrow. And then you simply click Update Table. Select one of the following options, update page numbers only, update entire table, always go for update entire table. We then select OK, bang, there we go. Copyright's now in with the correct page number. So I hope that helps guys, um, as I said, this is the best way to create um, a contents page. Obviously, you'll have to change the colour, etc. with this. But again, yeah, it's just the standard way to do it up here. We can change that to size 12. Black, there we go. Okay, hope that helps, guys. Cheers.